Welcome to my lecture online. Let's say we start with a piece of rectangular glass that has a length of 20 centimeters and a width of 15 centimeters. Now they're asking us to cut a strip of equal width from both the length and the width of the piece of glass in such a way that the remaining area has an area of 100 square centimeters. So how big should X be? So the question is, how much should we cut off length and width of that piece of glass and they must be the same amount. All right, that means that the new length after we cut the piece of glass is going to be 20 minus x and the new width of the glass is going to be 15 minus x and they told us the remaining area is going to be uh, 100 square centimeters so the new area it's going to be equal to 100 and so we know that the area is going to be the new length length new times the new width width new because the area of a rectangle is length times width so in this case the 100 is going to be the new length which is going to be 20 minus x times the new width which is going to be 15 minus x and of course in this case we need to solve this for x looks like we're going to end up with a quadratic equation so let's go ahead and multiply these out so we have 100 is equal to 20 times that that's 300 minus 20x minus 15x and plus x squared combining everything and move the 100 across we get 0 is equal to x squared minus 35x and then 300 minus 100 would be uh, 300 minus 100 would be plus 200 and now we can solve this with the quadratic formula so again we go 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c and of course x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a so let's see if we have a realistic answer here so, trying the numbers. x is equal to minus b. b is 30, 90, negative 35. That becomes positive 35 plus or minus the square root of b squared. That would be 35 squared minus 4 times a times c, which is 200. All this divided by 2a, which is 2. Hmm. If this number in here is less than zero, we don't have a real answer. So next we work this out. We have x is equal to 35 plus or minus the square root of 35 squared, which is 1225 minus 800, all divided by two. So this is a positive number, which is good. We get a real answer. So x is equal to 35 plus or minus that would be uh, the square root of 425 divided by 2. And so now we're going to need a calculator. So 425, take the square root, is 20.6. So we have x is equal to 35 plus or minus 20.6 divided by 2. Now notice we have two possible answers. So x is equal to the sum of the two. That would be 55.6. 55.6 divided by 2, which is 27.8. Or, x is equal to 35 minus 20.6 divided by 2 equals 7.2. Now, notice only one of those can be a real answer because there's no way that we can cut 27.8 centimeters off either the width or the length and have anything left over. So, this is an unrealistic answer, which means that this is the only realistic answer x equal 7.2 centimeters now let's check it and what we're going to do is we're going to plug in this value so check that means the new length the new length is going to be 20 minus 7.2 which is equal to 12.8 and the new width is going to be equal to 7.8 7.2 plus 7.2 is 15 and add us 15. So now notice that if we multiply those two together, 12.8 multiplied times 7.8 should be 100 square centimeters. Let's figure it out. So times 12.8 equals 
let me try it again. 12.8 times 7.8 equals 99.84. That's close enough because we have a slight rounding error. So that's approximately equal to 100. So we can see that this is the correct answer down to one decimal place. And that is how it's done.